I promise I am going to get everything we need to expose David. And just be careful, all right? I will. Because we got a date in the sun soon, and, and we are not taking this with us. I can't wait. Do I even want to know where she's going? You know where she's going, Jesse. What I want to know is, 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 is the motive. What, what reason could David possibly have to, to, to try and bring Fusion down? Why? Right? I mean, up to now, he's been all about Jake, Amanda, and the baby. This attack on Fusion, straight out of left field. No, right? we got to remember that we're dealing with Hayward here, right? This is a guy who goes to an extreme, and then he takes it to the next level, so we shouldn't be too surprised. Well, brings us right back to motive. I mean, how did David even get his hands on the, the, the flash drive? Kendall and Greenlee are the only two that knew it existed. Kendall didn't tell him about it. And Greenlee is, well... Gone. Yeah. Great news. David's leaving. How do you know? Well, Angie called Jake. Nurse Gale doesn't need the surgery. Oh. Mm, I saw the paperwork at the hospital. Yeah, uh, we heard about... Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Stiff neck, mm -hmm. which is more than I can say for Rob. All right, all right. Talk all right, about right, falling right. on your own sword. Dude, that is exactly what I said. Exactly. exactly. You know perfect. what? You Martin boys need a new axe. In fact, there was a sign on Rob's knee that said, uh, sword, next five exits. Enough. No, 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 no. <laughs> she's, right. She's, right. She's, right. she's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. There's nothing funny about a guy falling out of bed and breaking his pogo stick. He I broke his pogo stick. I am no. leaving. No. Sorry. I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm you made her mad. Really, really, really. Please stay. We're sorry. We're sorry. Hey, I, I actually wanted to know if Liza was around. He wants to drop the lawsuit. You know, it, it really wouldn't hurt to wait. You have up to two years to file suit for an intentional tort. Really? <laughs> what? Oh, really? I, I, I worked for six months for an ambulance chaser. I picked up a few things. A little filing, were you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, learn mm -hmm. something new every day. All I gotta say is if David really has packed up his nastiness and taken it on the road, then who is going to explain these tea leaves? Ma sees trouble a coming. And we're all convinced it's a coming from David. Okay, okay, can we just all forget about lawsuits and tea leaves? Because David said he's going. And, you know, he's packed up his house. He's got a plane waiting for him at the airport. Maybe it's time to just take him at his word. I'm with her on this. What? What? I'm sorry, I must be losing my hearing. I could have sworn you disagreed with your wife, which means that you believe. For the first time, somebody came crawling out of Hayward's mouth. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm with my wife on this. You trust David? Well, I did ask Marissa to talk to him, see if he would tell her the truth about what's been happening, and see what she found out. Yeah, hello? Yeah, hey, Molo, what's up? Yeah, 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 no, you're sure? You're sure? Great, no, that's terrific news, thank you. That was my guy. Hey, which plane just took off? Destination? Gloucester. It's true. David is gone. He's really gone. <laughs> This place is perfect. And the invitation, I can just see it. Dr. David Hayward cordially invites you to celebrate his union with Ms. Question mark. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little over the top. We'll work on the details, but the invitation will get everyone talking. They'll pressure you for answers. You have to be prepared for that. Trust me, it's nothing I can handle. That's why we're so good together. The real challenge will be getting people to attend, especially Ryan and Erica. They just as soon burn this chapel down than attend any joyous occasion for me. Sweetheart, this is Pine Valley. They won't be able to help themselves. They'll have to know every single one of them. And Erica, you were an item once. There's no way she ever forgets a man that she's been with. She'll be here, you can count on it. And just to show how. Fabulous she is. She'll have to bring her new little boy toy, Ryan. I mean, after all, they are Pine Valley's new glamour couple. Erica would never let you forget that. You have it all figured out, don't you? 
I'm dead, but I'm not stupid. Do you have a pen? Yeah. And paper? Oh, you're so prepared. Okay, this is the name of the woman who designed my wedding gown. You know, the one that got shredded when I uh, died? You want to use the same designer? Why mess with perfection? Oh, and about the invite list? Uh, I want one cent to Kendall and Zach. I know they're out of town, but I want one cent to them. You really think they'll attend? I would love it so much. To see Kendall's face when she's eyeball to eyeball with the woman whose man she slept with. I mean, I could just hear it now. Oh, if I'd only known you were alive, I never would have slept with Ryan or given fusion to mother. <sighs> Bitch. I was trapped in that hole for months with her husband. Did I sleep with him? No. I can't believe Zach has stayed married to Kendall. She's the most infuriating, stubborn, pain in the ass. You miss her. Go call the designer. I'm gonna get working on my vows. Not my wedding vows. My vows for revenge. Part.